Little Red Riding Hood Once upon a time there was a dear little girl who was loved by everyone who looked at her, but most of all by her grandmother, and there was nothing that she would not have given to the child. So she was always called Little Red Riding Hood. One day her mother said to her, Come, Little Red Riding Hood, here is a piece of cake and a bottle of wine. Set out before it gets hot, and when you are going, walk nicely and quietly and do not run off the path, or you may fall and break the bottle, and then your grandmother will get nothing. I will take great care, said Little Red Riding Hood to her mother, and gave her hand on it. The grandmother lived out in the wood, half a league from the village, and just as Little Red Riding Hood entered the wood, a wolf met her. Little Red Riding Hood did not know what a wicked creature he was, and was not at all afraid of him. Good day, Little Red Riding Hood, said he. You surely must know it, replied Little Red Riding Hood. What a nice plump mouthful, she will be better to eat than the old woman. Little Red Riding Hood raised her eyes, and when she saw the sunbeams dancing here and there through the trees, and pretty flowers growing everywhere, she thought, suppose I take grandmother a fresh nosegay. And so she ran from the path into the wood to look for flowers. Meanwhile the wolf ran straight to the grandmother's house and knocked at the door. Little Red Riding Hood, replied the wolf. The wolf lifted the latch, the door sprang open, and without saying a word he went straight to the grandmother's bed and devoured her. Little Red Riding Hood, however, had been running about picking flowers, and when she had gathered so many that she could carry no more, she remembered her grandmother, and set out on the way to her. She was surprised to find the cottage door standing open, and when she went into the room, she had such a strange feeling that she said to herself, Oh dear, how uneasy I feel today and at other times I like being with Grandmother so much. But, Grandmother, what big eyes you have, she said. And scarcely had the wolf said this, then with one bound he was out of bed and swallowed up Little Red Riding Hood. So he went into the room, and when he came to the bed, he saw that the wolf was lying in it. When he had made two snips, he saw the Little Red Riding Hood shining. And then he made two snips more, and the little girl sprang out, crying, Ah, how frightened I have been! Little Red Riding Hood, however, quickly fetched great stones with which they filled the wolf's belly, and when he awoke, he wanted to run away, but the stones were so heavy that he collapsed at once, and fell dead. The huntsman drew off the wolf's skin and went home with it. The grandmother ate the cake and drank the wine which Little Red Riding Hood had brought, and revived, but Little Red Riding Hood thought to herself, As long as I live, I will never by myself leave the path, to run into the wood, when my mother has forbidden me to do so. It is also related that once when Little Red Riding Hood was again taking cakes to the old grandmother, another wolf spoke to her, and tried to entice her from the path. Little Red Riding Hood, however, was on her guard, and went straight forward on her way, and told her grandmother that she had met the wolf, and that he had said good morning to her, but with such a wicked look in his eyes, that if they had not been on the public road she was certain he would have eaten her up. But they did not speak, or open the door, so the greybeard stole twice or thrice round the house, and at last jumped on the roof intending to wait until Little Red Riding Hood went home in the evening, and then to steal after her and devour her in the darkness. But the grandmother saw what was in his thoughts. In front of the house was a great stone trough, so she said to the child, Take the pail, Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood carried until the great trough was quite full. But Little Red Riding Hood went joyously home and no one ever did anything to harm her again. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe. 
Have a great day.